My name is Stephanie Taylor. At the age of 13, I met some kids and I began to try out marijuana and um, alcohol and cigarettes. I would sleep with different people, didn't know them. Um, I would go to bars, uh, clubs, stay out all night long, and my mom would wonder. I had just really became a bad kid. I met my first husband, and I had two children by him, and due to his lifestyle, he was murdered. That really devastated me at the time. So I began to drink a little more, um, smoke a little more. It was just really hard for me. I did get a job working for the United States Postal Service. I still had an addiction and that addiction would still take over my finances. I would say the amount of money that I spent in a 25 year span would have been about $216,000. And my daughter, as she began to go to college, um, she called me to come and get her from college. And I didn't understand, you know, why she wanted me to come and pick her up. But it began to take a turn for her life. Um, the schizophrenia has set in. And from my understanding, what the doctor told me, um, once I had took her to the doctor that it can all of a sudden come on you when you reach 18 and that's what happened to her. She began to hallucinate and um, hear voices and I was talking about jumping off bridges and I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything. Um, so afraid of what she would do to herself or do to somebody in the house. At the time, I thought that the problem my daughter had, that the hospital could fix the problem. I didn't know it was a spiritual problem until I came to the Universal Church. One day I was sitting and I was watching TV and a commercial came on um, about the Universal Church. And um, they were giving away the blessed healing water and I thought, I said, well, let me go there and see if I could get the water for my daughter that she could be healed. As I was coming to the Universal Church and doing the chain of prayer, my life began to change. I learned how to become a faithful tither. I learned how to just give God everything. And so, in a nutshell, my life began to change. It changed in my finances, it changed um, in my marriage, my daughter was healed. God has transformed every single area of my life and He can do it for you. He can do it for you if you're going through suicidal thoughts, addiction, a problem with your family, in your marriage, in your finances. He can change all of those things. My life has been transformed completely in every area of my life. All workers are people who are on the ground. On call or sometimes have to put their lives at risk. From the start of the day until late at night trying to solve problems to put others' mind at ease. In unpredictable situations, wherever they are, to try to make the economy go forward. This is why we bring to you the Worker's Prayer. Arise and shine. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Together we are strong. Today is Friday, the day that we 
gather together in the house of God in order to determine light upon the life of those who have been victims of forces of darkness, negative energy, people who feel themselves bound by spiritual chains, people who are not able to see progress in anything that they do, people who make every kind of effort but it feels like all they do comes to nothing because there are spiritual barriers, spiritual obstacles, yes, spiritual impairments that prevent this person from achieving his goals, from conquering, from taking possession. People who are skillful, people who are talented, people who have the ability, the expertise, but all they have is never enough for them to achieve their goals. Why? Because there are spiritual forces, negative energy, forces of darkness working in order to hold their lives back. But when the light of God comes upon us, when the power of God is revealed to us, because God is light and in Him there is no darkness at all. When His light begins to shine upon our lives, everything changes. And this Friday, about 27 minutes from now, we are going to have the first service in our Cathedral of Faith here in Port of Spain, number 40 South Key. We are going to be gathering together with 200 people. Yes, you can be part of these 200 people as well, 10 o'clock in the morning if you cannot make it 6 a.m., 12 midday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and 5 p.m. Yes, make yourself available because God is going to work wonders in your life. You who feel there is a dark cloud around above your head, better saying. You who feel surrounded by negative energy. You who feel victim of some sort of obia, witchcraft, sorcery. You name it. There is absolutely nothing that can resist the light of God. Let us now receive God's promise for this day. Promise of the day. Of God says, I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 18. See what God is promising to us. See what God is saying to us. He will open ri rivers in high places. He is going to bring about fountains in the midst of valleys. He is going to make the wilderness a pool of water. You see wilderness, desert, there will be water. Rivers from the mountains. So provision. God is saying that He is going to provide. God is saying that He is going to change your surroundings. And He is going to suit your needs. He is going to bring into existence what does not exist. A fountain. So in that dry land, in that desert, in that difficult situation, God is going to bring forth a fountain. God is going to create a situation for you to grow, for your business to grow, for the work of your hands to prosper. God is going to create a situation for you to sign that agreement. God is going to create a situation for you to sign that contract. God is going to create a situation for that money that has been blocked for the longest while to be released. And He is going to start doing it today. Do you believe it? Do you agree to this prophecy? Because look here, Gideon's spring. In this place here, God created a situation to give victory to Gideon and to the 300 that were with him. Gideon's spring, when they listened to the word of God, when they took hold of the word of God, right here in this place, they arose to victory. And today, my friend, you are going to arise to victory. When you go out of your house to that business meeting, you are going to come out of it successful because God's going to create a situation. He's going to bring about a fountain in the desert. He's going to create a situation to benefit you. He's going to work in order to favor you, you are going to see, because as the 300 at this place, Gideon's spring, they arose to victory, 
you are going to arise to victory. So is God's promise for you this day. Prepare your bottle of water, your glass of water, because when we come back, it will be our moment of prayer. This is our moment of prayer. I have my bottle of water with me. I believe you have your bottle of water with you, your glass of water with you. It's now our moment of prayer. Let us talk to God. My God and Father, in the name of Jesus, I now pray on behalf of this person who needs you to work, to favor her, to favor him. Maybe they are going to a meeting today. They have an appointment today. They are going to submit their applications, their CVs, their resumes. They are going to meet, my God, someone in order to discuss about a business deal, an agreement which they have been intending to have signed for a long time. My God, I don't know what is it your people they have in mind to do, what they have put into place to do this day. But I pray to you, O oh God, create a situation to favor this person. As your word says, rivers in the desert, fountains, pool of water in the desert. As your word says, my God, that you are going to bring about rivers from the mountains. Provision, my Father. So provide to this person right now victory. Provide to this person right now success. Whatsoever has been withheld from her, from him, release it right now. Yes, my Father, I call on you. And I ask you, release it right now. Make it come to his hands. Make it come to her hands. Bless Trinidad and Tobago, our governors, our leaders, the prime minister, the ministers, the authorities of this nation. Inspire them with wisdom, understanding. Give them ideas. So, my God, there may be growth, development, prosperity. Reduce the unemployment rate in Trinidad and Tobago, my God. Yes, bless the entrepreneurs. Enable them, my Father, to provide jobs. Give them inspirations, ideas, so they may have great breakthrough. So through their breakthroughs, oh God, they may be able to benefit the community, the society. My Lord, I also pray, bless the private sector. Bless right now, my God, the public sector. Take Trinidad and Tobago into your hands as well. All the nations that now pray with us. When your people drink of this water, may they drink of your provision. And may you favor each one of them today in everything they will do, wherever they will go. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. You may now drink from this blessed water. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are going to be waiting for you today in one of the universal churches of the kingdom of God countrywide, Trinidad and Tobago. Our services will be at 6 a.m. Yes, in about 10 minutes from now, 6 a.m., the first service of the day, and as well 10 a.m., 12 midday, 3 p.m., and also 5 p.m., the main service. You, your family and friends are invited to join us because the light of God will shine on you and no darkness will overpower you. Our God is light and He is going to bring His light upon your life. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together we are strong. Has the stress of this pandemic kept you down? You lost your job not knowing what to do? You are lacking sleep because you cannot provide for your family? You have reached the point of giving up? There is a way out for you to put an end to the problems surrounding you. Join us this Friday in the first Valley of Salt. After the pandemic, to receive the guidance that will help you. This Friday at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 o'clock noonday, 3 p.m., and especially at 5 p.m. In order to participate in our services, you must comply with the requirements given by the government, which says no mass, no service. 
and to keep up with the social distancing rules. At number 40 South Key, Port of Spain.